All right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be checking out the Plucky Squire. I've been looking forward to this. The trailer to this looked cool. Um, that's all I gotta say. Just visually looked interesting. If you don't know what it's about, um, you'll soon see. Interesting. All right. Settle in. Once upon a time, I got it reads. Lucky Squire named Jot. Jot lived in the land of Mojo, a land of creativity. Mojo was ruled by the gentle queen, Chroma. He defended the land from the nefarious sorcerer. <laughs> He's making link noises. I'm sorry, it's good. Which everyone very much appreciated. I'm Grump. Good lad. Well done, Racky. You just need Matt John Berry there. Also a writer, and would well done. Many adventures in book form. These tales were avidly read by all the people of the land, who found them quite gripping. Jot awoke one fine morning and pluckily leapt from his bed. From afar, he could hear some rather exciting music. He got dressed and went to investigate. Chapter 1 Some Serious Beeswax Oh, here we go. Oh, it doesn't read it. <laughs> hey, Dynasty. And the door. The music was really booming. This was the house of the good wizard Moonbeard, Jod's close friend and mentor. <laughs> Ah, Jot, my lad, he exclaimed. I'm on a roll here, traveling to new musical realms. Since you're here, lad, I have a small favor to ask. Wax. I need more wax, lad. To press more records. Do you like the narrator? Uh... Would you go to honey? I, I think the narrator's cool, but man, after playing, um, thank goodness you're here. Like, I kind of want, I kind of wish Matt Berry was just in all these kind of games where it's like British people, you know. A mini quest. Ooh, hi, you take care of the goblins. I'll hold the wax back here. Hey, yeah, there'll be goblins. No sweat for you, right, Jot? This is, this is great so far. Oh. I, I, either that's a currency or hidden items. Hey, Colorin. Oh. Both? It's like health and currency? I'm really digging this art style. The gate swung open for the plucky squire. 
Well, I'm just gonna be smacking the crap out of everything. Honey Peak. Is this going to become Zelda 2? <gasps> now this looked really quite precarious. <laughs> no way. I mean, I think this is what Zelda 2 was going for. Like, mixing Zelda action, but then also having Mario stuff happening. On oh, top of Honey Peak, the view is incredible. Now, that right there is a massive owl. That's Poem Tower, that is. Wow, that's a honey badger eating Benny B's honey. Be on your toes, Jot's a hungry honey badger can really be cranky. <laughs> oh heck, here we go. The honey badger seemed rather annoyed. Jot prepare <laughs> for a dust up. What what is this music? What, does, 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 does this just become... Oh my god. This just became Punch-Out. The beast was bested. Lucky Squire, triumphant. Ah, back in the hive. Feels so good. Yo, many thanks, Jot. You did me a solid. That honey badger was really mix messing with my beeswax. Anyhow, gang, what brings you here? Moonbeard sent us, Benny. He could really do with some of that beeswax if you could spare some. For sure, Pip, my man. I owe you guys. Here you go. Compliments to the Wiz. Oh, what's going on? What's with all that ominous darkness? And this is where it starts to get cool. Down they fell. Oof. It was time to confer with Moonbeard. Yep, it's hum, Grump, all right. Always up to treacherous trickery, that one. There's something rather odd about the magic he used. And this is not usually how the story goes, you know? That is to say, um... Forget about that. Uh, this is a job for the plucky squire. Jot. Tom Grump is at Time Tower. Head there and make sure that creepy little twerp doesn't cause any more bother. Hello? It was Violet. Violet was a trainee witch with a love of art. And Jot's childhood friend. Hey, 
Hey, Jot, we've got another hum grump situation, huh? Moonbird, give me the skinny. That Weasley wizard is at Tome Tower. You kids head over there and Jot, put a stop to hum grump's malarkey. I'll look into that strange green magic. And have a donut. But that's by the by. Later. Goodbye and good luck. Although, you never really need it, Jot. No lie, I'm pumped that I'm going to get to see the plucky Squire in action. Kapow! Lead the way, Jot. Yeah, I mean, elements of this, like how it's in this style, it's definitely like Zelda. I think it's... It's gonna be just a bunch of old games, isn't it? So the Plucky Squire set off to Tome Tower. Yeah. A map. New piece of artwork, okay. And a gleam in this plucky eye. What the? <laughs> okay. The swung gate open. The open swung gate. Greetings, brave warriors. My name's Martina, nice to meet you. You adventurers cut down fearsome enemies, and I slash prices. Let me show you what I have for sale. Sword thorough badge, art scroll. Buy both. Well now, time to practice throwing your sword, Jot. Okay, I mean, you know, for lack of a boomerang. Good going. If you want to keep training, check out the board. Otherwise, leave the exit. Ow. I thought maybe it was like a scoreboard. It was lovely to make your acquaintance. Be sure to check again next time we meet. I'll have new stock. You keep saving the land from bad business, and my business will save you from bad deals. So long, brave warriors. <laughs> this is pretty cute. Just the look of it. Oh. A lost glitch, but okay. It'll return to a timeline. So, uh, this is this game's Korok. Sculptula, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, ha ha. Well, there it is. That mysterious ancient owl. All knowledge of Mojo is supposed to be stored in there, you know. Well, not sure the ground should be doing this. Oh, 
bother. Oh, that's some Winnie the Pooh stuff right there. Chapter two. Tome Tower. Our heroes hung on to the cliff's edge by their fingernails. When suddenly... They were grabbed. And hoisted up. By who? By Thrash. Hey, dude, what's up? My name is Thrash. And got <laughs> Violet's childhood friend. The trio had not been together for quite a while. And so were very happy to be reunited. Thrash, oh boy, you really saved our skins. Are we happy to see you? Triple trouble together again. I'm just stoked I could find you dudes. After all this craziness kicked off, I checked in with Moonbeard. He told me you were both heading to Tome Tower. I figured I'd help you on your way. The path is wrecked, huh? Well, there's more than one route to Tome Tower. Let's get down to the ground. Huh? Oh, I thought it was Alder gonna follow. Huh? This is really quite high, isn't it? Well, if anyone can lead the way down, it's Thrash. Let's do this. Oh. This is cool. Now, now we Donkey Kong, but <laughs> in reverse. Yeah, yeah, been playing platformers since the age of five, yeah. <laughs> Look at those skills. And here was Thrash. Oh, nice climbing, dude. You both got down that cliffside with banging style. You had a good rhythm going on there, dudes. You think? You know, it did feel rather graceful, sort of like a hopping mountain rabbit. Well, now we're down on the ground. Best get onto Tome Tower. Lead the way, Plucky Squire. Not without, like, destroying the environment first. Look at those bouncing boulders, they're just vanishing into thin air. Majorly weird. Oh yeah, okay, so this is where it begins now. Look, look on the bottom of the page. When I saw this, this is kind of what sold me on it. Like, it, it's a cool idea. A bull! It looks angry. Good job none of us is wearing red. <laughs> Dot's wearing red. Is it red? I suppose it is kind of red. More of a crimson than a scarlet. I don't think bulls are that picky. But the, the bull is red. What happens if it looks in the mirror?
I like the little mice that got little hats. I kind of feel bad for taking them out. <laughs> oh, it's Moonbeard. Hold up, is that Moonbeard? He looks much more petite than usual. Oh, that's not Moonbeard Thrash. That's Mini Beard. He's like a tiny version of Moonbeard. Usually, you'll find him at Moonbeard's house helping him out. Today, it looks like he's out and about. Hey, Mini Beard, what's cooking? Yo, you'll need a key if you want to be journeying onwards. If you walk to the right here, you might just find one. Free advice from Mini Beard. Old Mini Beard. Thanks, Mini Beard. Helpful fellow. You know, if you're stuck on something and Mini Beard is around, always pay to ask him. He's full of answers. As long as the game doesn't go, Hey, it looks like you're having trouble. Maybe you want to talk to Mini Beard. Player. Turn down the difficulty. It took you 40 seconds to figure this out. You died twice. Maybe you want to turn down the difficulty. Hold on. It looks like there's more over there. I'm gonna go have a look over there before I turn this in. You got the key. I knew you'd do it. Thanks, Mini Bed, dude. Can't help it. Is that a giant cat? Ah, greetings, travelers. Three. My name is Topsy. Hey, Topsy. I see you're on a quest of some kind. You know, Topsy may be able to help you. But there is something you could perhaps assist me with first. Namely, my tummy. It is empty. I left biscuits around here somewhere, you see. And the landscape, it seems to have changed somewhat. Which has resulted in those biscuits becoming lost. A cat shouldn't be parted from their biscuits. We'll find them for you, Topsy. Oh, that would be extraordinarily helpful. A little advice. There's a word in that sentence just there. That might be the key to all these land-shifting antics. You might identify which word is causing all the mischief by giving it a good whack. Good luck. Oh, there we go. I mean, this is kind of neat. It's like that game, Baba is You, if you've ever played that game. We should play that on stream at some point. Mini bird. No, I'm good. Dot found Topsy's biscuits. Interesting. 
Can I take the word biscuits? There was a secluded biscuit. This is a pretty cool idea. My biscuits, how I have dreamed of this moment. Travelers, you have my sincerest thanks. The prospect of this biscuit or oh, the snack brings a smile to my face. This land is full of puzzles and trickery. Always remember, things are sometimes not what they seem. When you get stuck, try to th see things from a different angle. Good luck, biscuit saviors. We meet again. Care to take a look at my current selection? Spin attack. 150. Jump attack. Sword damage upgrade. Alright, we'll get the sword damage upgrade. On the art scroll. Slowly but surely. Zelda. Attacks. Our trio stopped in their tracks. There, on the horizon, loomed Toad Tower. Wow, it got dark around here pretty fast. There's some magic foot. Everything feels kind of busy. There was a strange electricity in the. Oh my god. Whoa, booming bolts. Very metal. The strange electricity was spawning monsters. Damn, and this is with the weapon upgrade. Guys, you want do you want to help? Oh my! I wasn't expecting it to move that quickly. I'm, get, I'm getting wrecked. Ah, 
because the attack like makes you move forward. It's like a real swing. You don't stand still. Hello, young adventurers. Are you on your way to Tome Tower? Yep, that's where we're headed. Best beware, a dark wizard occupies the tower. His magic is causing pandemonium. I mean, look at this lovely bridge. Unmitigatedly obliterated. Oh yeah, wrecked. Hmm. Is there another way to cross the waters? I'm just thinking, like, what if this is one of these games that's like a cute game that is hiding a Souls game <laughs> underneath? That would be funny. Cave entrance. Promising, promising. Man, real gloomy. Dig the acoustics, though. Lead on, Jot Dude. Your plucky glow will light the way. Oh no, it opens this up too. Yeah, this is now like Zelda 2 vibes again. It's cool. I like it. Interesting. Don't explore the impossible cave. Um, is there any more to this? Oh. Would you look at that? We crossed the river. On we go. I don't think I have enough to buy whatever they are selling. Sword throw upgrade. All right, never mind. Whoa! Boy, that all these books really eerie. Pretty cool visual though. The non-interactable. Blocks of books. These books had been purposely stacked. Scattered. There was something. Pages were scattered on the ground. Okay. 
Wow, these enemies. Interesting. Oh. Okay, I mean, I'm going to use Boomerang more. It just seems safe with these things. That one is trapped for the time. Bye. I was not expecting the combat to be this tricky. These books had been purposely scattered. Oh, but it only... Can I make a page as well stacked on the ground? Oh, yeah. There's still... Oh, you can just go there. Yeah. That wretched fool Jot, he will get what he deserves. Their time is near. Uh... Okay, that's a bit creepy. That dratted plucky squire. Oops. No, 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 no. Go back. I was just trying to collect. So this is where it all kicks off. A historical location and no mistake. Huh? Well, hello and goodbye, I guess. No idea who that was. So much oddness around these parts. Anyway, here we are, Tome Tower. It looks like Humgrump is still up there on the roof. It's time for the plucky squire to go take care of that creep. We'll stay down here, dude. We don't want to cramp your style. This is one of those dramatic heroic kind of moments, you know? During a big showdown, you don't want us dorks mooching around in the background. 
Nope, we'll mooch down here instead, but we'll be cheering you on all the way. Mooching and cheering. Jots, that's more our style. Go get that chump. Oh no, no, don't help. Jot made his way up the steep steps. Ah, the plucky squire. I've been waiting for you. So glad to see you made it to the tower. You might be wondering what Hum Grump is doing here. Well, I had a hunch, Grump. I might find something interesting in this old tower. And something interesting I did indeed find. A book. It was hidden away in a very secret chamber because this is a very special book. The title of this very special book is... The Plucky Squire. Yes, that's right. This book is all about you and me and all who live in this dratted land. It is the story of our lives. It turns out, you see, that our land of Mojo is just a setting in a storybook. Hard to believe. I assure you, it's true. What I'm holding here is a copy of that storybook. A book within the book, if you will. I read the book. It's very interesting. You and that witch girl adventuring through the land, meeting up with the mountain troll, making your way here to meet me. In fact, I read ahead to this very chapter. I've seen what happens next. We fight here on the roof. Any guesses how that turns out? And so, the Pluggy Squire once again defeated the wretched wizard Humgrum. You win, as you always do. You know, this book is one of a series, and in each one of these books, you win. Every single one! Or every stinking time. Because you are the plucky squire, the hero of this story, the boy who can do no wrong. Always victorious, even the little stories you write, beloved by all. Infuriating, like, uh, like a mosquito in my cardigan. Yes, that is an adequate metaphor. Me, I'm the villain, the talentless wizard who can do no right, destined to be beaten forever. At least that is how it has been up until now, but maybe it doesn't need to be that way. Maybe even Humgrum could get a little glory for once if the plucky squire were to be plucked from the book. If he were to be ejected. Okay. This is really cool. But I don't have my sword. Oh. Try jumping off the desk worth a go. <laughs> Was it though? See how there's an arrow over here telling the player where to go? There's a Steam achievement for people like me. Oh, hello. Is there someone out there?
Would you be so kind as to open the lid of this lunchbox? Oh. Touch that. Ah, I can. Peas and carrots. Do you remember me, Jot? We met in your book. I'm not actually from there, you know. Us bookworms travel around a fair bit from book to book. But you, Jot, are a character from a book and. Shouldn't really be out here. It's Humgrump's magic that blasted you out of the page and onto this desk, isn't it? We'll have to get you back into your book, Jot. It's of utmost paramountcy. Paramountcy, jeez. In other words, very important. You know, there are some intriguing items on this desk. Some of them might help you in return. Head around the corner to the left and we'll try a fine one. <laughs> Can't touch this. Eh. Oh, they're grapes, I see. Hello there again. Do you see the magical swirly thing? That's a metamagic portal, that is. It seems to allow travel between different worlds. Most characters cannot travel through these portals or pass between realms. But Jot, you've already made that leap once. Maybe you could do it again. Try jumping through the portal, young squire. Remarkable. Some kind of meta magic must have rubbed off on you, Jot. Like me, it seems you had the power to leap between worlds. Now this world here is a sketch that was drawn by the occupant of this room, and the owner of your storybook, Jot, a young boy named Sam. He is a very creative child. You'll find his sketches all over the desk. Since you can jump into them, maybe you can use them to get around. And I brought my grape with me. Low energy. Too hungry to move. Too hungry to converse. Please get me a. Sn <laughs> ah, so hungry, but that food I may have, not really into it, honestly. Damn it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost did it. Should have gone for the carrot. Exceptional, you really can bring items between realms. This might be handy. I am a little disappointed it's not. It doesn't become a sketch. Anyway, delicious. Carrot boost. Energy levels restored. Oh, am I in your way? Sorry about that. Here, let me scooch. Oh. Oh, okay, wow. Perspective shifts. This is cool. This kind of reminds me of, um... Damn it, what was that Zelda game? But the one where you like, you're painting as Link. Link Between Worlds. Jeez, I don't know how I forgot that. Why is this child's bedroom so eerie? That's what I want to know. Like, why does it seem like we're going to be I don't know like it feels like I'm in a murder mystery but this is a child's bedroom or it's a normal it's a normal house and it feels like there hasn't been occupants in this house for hundreds of years Good going, young squire. I believe that the item that can help you get back to your world is further ahead. But listen, on your way, you may run into creepy, crawly... Collier Petra? B 
beetles, Sam's likes to think of them as pets. You see. Do I jot? Don't get eaten. It simply won't do. Oh no. Stealth time. <laughs> Sorry, it's not bad. I can't push these ever. I need to bring the dice with me. This is cool. <laughs> I'm really liking this so far. Oh. Except for the part where I got murdered. I moved too quickly. Huh? I didn't die. I could have snuck by. I guess it just doesn't accept. Oh, come on. That's not where I fell. But that's, that's the thing, it's like, this is someone's room, and it's just riddled with brooches. Okay, I see. Oh, no, come on. That's not how that works. I jumped over him. Such an unrealistic game. I can't even be clever about this. Jot, you made it. My fears have been allayed. It seems that nothing can hinder the plucky squire. On that very night, while you are here, there is something you really must observe. These sketches of you, quite a remarkable likeness, I must attest. The person who drew all this is called Sam. He is the boy who lives in this room and is the owner of your storybook, and for some reason... Um, is a slob. <laughs> As you might be able to tell, he is very fond of you and your adventures. I'm glad that you got to see this, Jot, to see how much you mean to him. Then again, this could be like a very sad ending we're looking at here. <laughs> Maybe I should stop making fun of it. But there is no time to dwell on that. Your quest is to re-enter the book. It is near its pinnacle. The item you need is just beyond this sketchbook. Press on. Yeah, like this... If this is a child's bedroom and it's in ruin, it, it can't b bode well. It might be a sad ending. Or like one of those bittersweet things.
<laughs> Are you serious? I suck at stealth, I really do. I'm just so impatient. I'm trying to make noise to bait it. Okay, it doesn't it just doesn't give me a window. It's instantaneous. I love how this has kind of become like a mini Halloween game <laughs> all of a sudden. likely will need it. The turn gauntlets? Now has the power to manipulate his storybook. Press when next to the book to open it up. You got the gauntlets. Exceptional procurement. Head back to your book. Post haste. I think you'll find that the gauntlets will help you return home. One last thing before you leave this table, Jot. It is very important. Beware of Humgrump. He wishes to take over your book. You have to stop that from happening. Not just for the sake of the citizens of your book, but for all the children who will read and be inspired by your book. Sam is one of those children, Jot. You know, us bookworms were able to glimpse the past, present, and even the future. I've seen that Sam will one day grow up to be a great writer and illustrator himself. You'll create a series of very popular children's books with very lucrative merchandise tie-ins and brand integrations, oh boy. Sam's books will go on to inspire many other children. That is, if he even ever actually writes them. If Humgrum takes control of your book, the story will get worse. Books with bad stories get put away on the shelf. No one reads them anymore. Those books lose all of their life and cease being an inspiration to anyone. Your book will no longer inspire Sam, and then, who knows what path he will take. Do not let that happen, Jot. Return now and stop Humgrump. I mean, I really like A Link Between Worlds, so I'm happy that this is... I mean, there's definitely inspiration. Wow. Well, just take away my dice. I can't turn them any further. Shots, my lad. Welcome back to Mojo. We have much to discuss. Chapter 3. Moonbeard. Hmm. I seem to feature rather prominently in this chapter. Better put my best foot forward, then. Great. 
Greetings, lad. Hey, Josh, you're back here in one piece. I suppose you must have a great number of questions, lad. The answer, the answer to the first question is... Yes, I am aware of how cool these sunglasses look. The answer to the second question is... Yes, our entire world is indeed a land in a storybook. Bananas, huh? I've kept this knowledge a closely guarded secret for many a year. Somehow, that greasy nincompoop, Humgrump, found out. Very regrettable. Now he knows the truth. Who knows what mischief he's planning. I have a hunch that big trouble is on the way. But that just means, young squire, that we must be double the trouble. Follow me. First order of business, getting in and out of the book. See that green sparkly stuff over there? Meta magic, that is. It lets you break the fourth wall. Which is another way of saying jump out of the book. Walk into the portal and try holding the Y button. What's a Y button? Not entirely sure, but you should press and hold it. Testing, testing, ahem. <laughs> Jot, I'm talking to you via Runetooth headset. You know, I'm suddenly feeling rather parched. Wizards are like plants. We must keep them hydrated. Use your page turning abilities to get me something to drink. Approach the edge of the book and see what you can do. Would you like some... <laughs> some paint? Would you like to drink some paint? I don't remember seeing anything that he could drink on the table. This is just art. Okay, I was just supposed to manipulate the book. Here we go. Let's look at this. Seems like you can use 10 pages. Best get to it then. You see that glow around the edges of the paper? That's the book telling you there's something useful on its pages. Try jumping in and see what you can find. No. Oh. My fizzy pop, that'll do very nicely. Head back here and drop that pop. This is cool. Pop time. Oh, that is some ASMR gulping right there. 
Ah, that's the ticket. Thanks, lad. Turn those gaunt those turn gauntlets can be very handy, don't you think? I was the one who put them on the desk. I've stored a number of useful items out there. But there's one small problem. I'm not sure of their precise location. Things get moved around, Sam is full of energy, you know, it's chaos out there. When you need one of those items on the desk, you'll just have to search for it yourself. Last point of order. Minibeard. Yo. I hear you've already met. Minibeard is a tiny simulacrum of me. I created him to help out around the house. He's quite helpful and rather good at puzzles, you know. If you're having trouble with a puzzle and you see him around, why not ask his advice? There's a lot of wisdom stored in that tiny beard head. Jot, our land has been troubled by something quite like hum... Or oh, hasn't... Our land has never been troubled by something like hum grumps, meta magic before. There may be great upheavals and big battles ahead, but I have faith you'll rise to whatever challenges are thrown our way. You are the plucky squire, after all. I believe in you. Always have, lad. Now, I expect that your friends are waiting for you. If you leave the book and turn to the next page, I think you'll find them. We've lost Jot. I can't believe it. We shouldn't have just let him come up here by himself. We should have had his back. But what could we have done? We're not warriors like him. Never have been, never will be. We'll protect Mosher now that he's... he's gone. Jot! Dude! You're alright. Wait. You're not a ghost, are you? Of course he isn't, Thrash. Look at his face. That's his normal squidgy face. So happy to see it. Jot, where were you? Hello, gang. Moonbeard, is that you? Indeed, I'm talking to you via a device known as a Rune Tooth headset. Okay, all very exciting. Now listen up, this business with Humgrump is rather worrying. We must consult with Cream Chroma at Artia City. You should head there now. I've got some wizard business to attend to and a donut to eat. I'll join you kids later. Violet Thrash, I'll find you in the situation while on the situation while you travel. Moonbeard out. Conference call? Well, you heard. I'm a trip to Artia City, my hometown. Oh, Jot, I'm so glad you're okay. Come on, let's scoot. Give sword. Yeah. And so our heroes set off to Artia City to visit the good queen, Chroma. Chapter 4 A Treacherous Trail This is not going to be a long game. It's ten chapters long. Sonnet Swamps. On the way to Artia, our heroes took a shortcut. Through the aquatic land known as... Aquatic. The Sonnet Swamps. Well, this is unknown territory, kiddos. Your story has never taken you to this area. You're off script now. No happy endings guaranteed. You could get splattered. Even eaten by a huge frog, who knows. Although these swamps are usually rather cultured, as far as I gather. The residents here are quite keen on poetry. If you've ever wanted to hear a snail recite a verse, here's your chance. Nevertheless, you... Bad reception. Moonbeard, looks like Runetooth doesn't work too well in these swamps. 
I guess we'll get connected again once we're on the other side. I appreciate that this is not, like, straight up easy. Whoa. Look at the size of that. Big, gnarly, uh, thing. Green lightning struck with furious sound. This insect's neck broke through the ground and thence blew the bugs. Really not a fan of these punky bugs. Dang, this place is heaving with bugs. Hello, little goblin. I have a task for you, my returned purple friend. Concerning that wretched squire, I booted him out of the book, you know, but he's a persistent little creep. He may still be out there with an eye on causing Hungrum trouble. But you see, Hungrum will bring the trouble to him. Take a shot of my metamagic and leap through this pretty portal. Set yourself free of these pages and go bully that wretched pest. Oh, okay. I mean, it's cool, the, the mix of visual style. Are you kidding? Still got me. I need like a combat roll. Probably gonna get a key in real life. So this must be one of those portals Moonbeard was talking about. And you jo can just jump right out of our world through this thing? Onto a desk of s in someone's room? Crazy stuff, man. And on that desk is a storybook, in which we're all living. I'm a character in a story? My whole life is just a plot line? Sorry, it's just a bit much to take on board. Although, it figures that I'm just a supporting character in someone's story. I just wish I'd been a little, I'd been written a little more cool. It's never too late. He must be in the other realm now. I wonder if he can still he hear us. I guess we look like drawings to him. Gnarly. Um, let me go here first. There are items to collect.
I just want to make sure I have more money to get the skills. Wait, can I snipe this? Yeah, I can. I gotta deal with the thing that left the book. What? <laughs> what happened there? Before I continue, where did this thing go? Wait, I can't throw it. Back in our world again. As simple as that. I really wonder what it's like out there. Back in a sec. <laughs> oh. They become real. I wonder what would happen if I had left it. Where's my down stab? this <laughs> a huge bug sat in the middle of the path humongous bug looks like it's full of water if it wasn't so huge we could get around it and be on our way i mean shouldn't that already be it's no longer huge it's just a bug That's not a sentence. Doesn't really work either. Let's see.
The gate was rusted huge. The rusty gate was huge. <laughs> if it becomes huge. Oh. <laughs> Actually, it becomes huge. It'd be funny if I lock myself out of it because I've made the gate huge. was completely okay I see all right I know what to do Cool idea. Oh, I could have just dropped down there. Hang on. Don't need to do that. Jot peered into the... Could say huge. <laughs> Let's just make everything big. The rest of the gate was open. Okay. But, I mean, it, it just made it closed again. Why can't it be huge and closed or open? Huge frog. Tiny bug. Goodbye, tiny insect dude. Awesome job, Jot. You've really got a grasp on the power of words. It's all amazing, really. Huge to tiny, full to empty. By changing words, you can change, well, everything. Guess the story in this book really isn't fixed, huh? I guess not. Maybe the story's characters are not so fixed either, you know.
What do I... Hang on. I just worry that... Maybe... I should have gone in that cave when I was open instead of making it big. Checking. No, downstrike, definitely. There's my downstab. <laughs> Time to try the jump attack. Okay, it's not quite like Zelda 2, but still. It's important. This is going to be my main attack now. <laughs> As knockback. See what I have to do. This is cool. But then I guess I have to keep track of what words maybe were on what page. Hopefully not. expecting it to get that big. Look over there, poor flippery floundering fish. To grab the fish. Ah, oh, come on. What? It's slipping. Half a second, too. Oh, come on! 
Dude. You must grab it, grasshopper. Is this this is a joke? <laughs> Dude, no, I think it's just slipping out of my hands no matter what. Like there's gotta be an item I need. Okay, no. Well, I can't leave this, can I? I can't. So I have to do this. There we go. Good th Timing. Fish grabbed. The plucky squire gently released the fish into the water. And there it regained its composure. Phew, thank you so much, noble traveler. My name is Flotio and I'm a fish. Green lightning zapped me right out of these waters. Consumed my fear. Uh, I flipped and I flopped. Till by your hand my fugue was stopped. I am eternally in your debt. But you must forgive me. I must go. Forgive my beloved swims this reedy pen. I cannot rest until we meet again. Safe travel, my noble saviors. I would get Matt Berry to, like, <laughs> be the fish. What an extremely well-spoken fish. I do hope he finds his love. Our heroes ventured on. The sounds of the daytime chorus began to fade. And the light... Oh, the word daytime is highlighted. The swamps are kind of moody at night. Check out these singing frogs. Sweet harmonies. to do with that. <laughs> oh, this is weird. All this is reminding me of is like Baba is you. I should play that game on stream. It's it's a difficult game. At least the logic of it gets very really, really tricky. Okay. I 
it's a shame that I got rid of the dice that I carried with me. Just trying to think if there's anything else I can grab. Doesn't look like there's anything, yeah. Flip back. Sorry, I'm just like going back through it. Oh, it doesn't let you go further back. All right, so it's all self-contained within this chapter. what words are there. Maybe open might come in handy. Maybe the bridge was open. Oh, that's a little annoying. Hang on, before I do, what is it? Oh. No, there's a simple answer to this. Complicated it. I mean, the bridge was open, would work. That's going to get back in the way, isn't it? Wait. Forgot the most important part, looting. Oh, it does have combat roll. Okay. I don't know how I missed that.
this should be night time. Oh, but it needs to be... How am I going to make this work? Huh. Because it needed to be daytime, but then I need to be over there. Hang on, I got an idea. Or not. if I push this in the way that can't move. I mean, it, it worked. Oh, what the? Oh. Cool. Ah, you're kidding. I need to bring something with me. possible to bring this? No. Oh, I'm complicating it again. There's more to it. block again, don't I? Yep. Oh. 
what purpose could this serve? It just seals this up. Hmm. Adventurers, maybe you can help us. Our house is full of flying bugs. Please kick out these insectoid thugs. You bet we will, snail dude. Squire, your sword there looks mighty sharp, but if you want to wallop those buzzing pests, a long range weapon will serve best. Um, there may be something around here. Long range weapon, huh? Let's take a little gander. Huh? Ah, there's something lodged under the water. Maybe I could dislodge it with a little bit of magic? I can never quite get this kind of thing to work. But, well, I suppose there's a first time for everything. Guys, maybe it's best if you stood back? Here goes nothing. Holy guacamole, it actually worked. Oh, I mean, uh... Ta-da! Cool, huh? It's a big log. Not really a long-range weapon, unless you throw it. A portal. You know, I get the feeling there won't be a weapon lying around in the swamp. I mean, have you ever seen a snail rocking a crossbow? I haven't, but maybe you could find something out there in the other realm? Oh, what does now monsters? <laughs> what? A card? Okay. I mean, that'd be cool if you could just take, like, the art of some fantasy trading card and just make the item a reality. Word up, it's me, Minibid. Or to give you my full name, my talking Minibid. I'm a toy based on the character Minibid from the book, The Plucky Squire. It's all a bit meta. <laughs> if you're looking for a long range weapon, there's an elven warrior around here who owns one. She lives in a game card. Head upwards to find her. She might try and shoot you with arrows, but don't take it personally. Cool if you could change your outfit just by stepping in the paint. Joss, we meet once more, but alas, it seems that danger is on the horizon. Sonnet Swamp's least desirables have extricated themselves from the book, but it does at least appear that you are suitably equipped this time. Eradicate these invertebrates forthwith. I mean, I was fine with the sword boomerang being a ranged weapon. It takes a few hits, but it works. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. That looked normal. I like the stickers. I mean, we're starting to see more of this bedroom. It is quite a mess. I saw a bottom prompt appear. There. <laughs> Uh, Squiggle. Legally distinct corporation that ships everything. These visual effects are really cool. I'm not gonna try and 100% this. I'll just collect what I can. Wait, what's over here? Oh, there's another one. What? No! Wait, hey! Um. Uh oh. I, I need that. What did I do? How did I throw it that high? I just wanted to place it. Please tell me it resets. <laughs> just... Um... What do you do when the thing you need is... above you? Did I soft lock myself? Let's see if there's another alternate route. Mm -hmm. 
Um. Uh oh. <laughs> um, what do I do? It doesn't seem to be going back. I needed to get up high. Hmm. This might be a little bit of um an oversight. If the player happens to accidentally throw the trampoline above them somehow. Yeah, I can't get up there. I need to. I need the trampoline to get up there, but the trampoline's over here. Was there another trampoline anywhere? Hang on, let's see. Maybe there is. It may have been in the previous room, though. Tr trust me to do something like this. <laughs> this might be best. Hold on. Okay. I think we're okay. Okay. All, all is right in the world. I can't believe I did that, like... I was just trying to place it. Like that, but then... I, I don't know how I managed what I managed. Oh, this is cool. Please, I am a master of this. How many Zelda games have I played? <laughs> I had to avoid falling rocks in Death Mountain. What's this? Another intruder. I can see a thieving gleam in your eye. Show me what you've got, rascal. Oh wow, it's become a... difference with stab. You will not soon forget... Talk. Try not talking. Now not the time. I see panic in your eyes. Talk. I do not converse with scoundrels. No doubt you are entangling yourself. I will not talk with you, but my arrows will sing. It seems that you really wish to talk. I do not. Your insistence on conversation grows worrisome. <laughs> You're becoming quite annoying. Now is not the time for words, but for battle. I do not converse with scoundrels. The fear in your cat feathers... Because we fear scoundrel. I will not talk with. Uh, I'm gonna keep doing it. It seems you really should talk, is it not? Insistence on conversation grows worrisome. You're becoming quite annoying. Okay, what about God? You shall not have this fur, but you shall have its fury. Okay, I give up. <laughs> I 
Dude. Ow. Yeah, um, this is bad. I'm basically doing no damage. I should have talked with her, like, immediately. That was probably the solution. Ow. Oh. it is I, Paige the Bookworm. You seem to be in a desperate predicament. Let me revivify you. Your vitality restored. I may have also spruced up your offensive capabilities. Alas, Jot, that was a one-time spell. I can revitalize you no more. The outcome of the skirmish is now entirely up to you, Plucky Squire. This sorcery not matters not. I shall dispatch you once and for all. No more words. <laughs> Rushing stab. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's just get, get through this. Do you give up? Fully possessed intruder. I'll destroy this elven bird before I give it to you. The elves will never let their weapons be used for evil purposes. You can tell that to your boss. What was his name now? Ah, oh, yes. Hum Grump. Jot, did you hear that? It seems that she has erroneously identified you as an agent of Hum Grump. You must talk to her, Jot. Inform her of the truth. I think I can reproduce the spell that just cast by some time. And now let us finish it. Hum Grump isn't my boss. You expect me to believe that? Really, Hum Grump is my enemy. Your enemy? But what do you mean? I'm on a quest to defeat him. You mean you're not his underling? Most assuredly not. Jot is a champion of his land, striving to defeat the dastardly Humgrump and put an end to his mischief. Is that so? Now that I take a closer look at him, he does seem to have a somewhat heroic countenance. Allowed Alonia. We wholeheartedly apologize for the disturbance we have precipitated. We are searching for a weapon to help clean up Humgrum's chaos. Your elven bow seemed like it could be advantageous in that regard, but we did not mean to cause any turmoil in your forests. I have decided I shall lend the elven bow to you. An enemy of Humgrump is an enemy of mine. I can see the aura of good about you now, Jot. Exceptional. When the bow has finished assisting you, will you return it to these... Uh, assisting you, it will return itself to these forests. Okay, gotcha. Good luck on your quest, Jot. A battle was most bracing. You got the bow! We made a good tag team, don't you think, Jot? So, it seems Humgrump's forces have made their way outside of your book. This does not bode well. Here, jump into this sticky note. You'll be able to get down the desk. And back to your book. Convenient. But you know, this is like I was getting a ranged weapon, but my sword is a ranged weapon. Charles, welcome back. Did you get what you were looking for? There we go, lad. Wall go wallop them. Bugs. 
This kind of reminds me of Adventure Time a little. Oh. <laughs> what is this? Legolas. Jot drew his bow back as far as he could. Oh, I see. And shot that creature right in the eye. It's only the big ones I need to worry about, that sort of thing. Hey! No, no. Admittedly messed up. Yeah. I didn't do well. The lucky squire had squashed the bugs. Thank you from the bottom of our mollusk carts. That's not the last of those bugs, though. We had a word there. Uh, more ahead. They say their leader is a big, horrible bug with flashing eyes. Have your wits about you, adventurers, and good luck. Nibble nibbles. You're a treasure, lad. Such pluckiness I have never seen. Thank you. What a story this will be. Our house saved by the plucky squire. You said I'm packing. You've reached Snailford upon Avon. A nice peaceful town. At least it was. Is that the famed plucky squire? Most unexpected for us to find you in these lands. We've read all your books and thrilled at your adventures. We don't get to adventure much ourselves, being snails, that is. I once fell in a hole. <laughs> but, but I suppose that's nothing compared to your escapades. You write about them so evocatively. I'm a big fan of your work. Perhaps, uh, perhaps you could help us? Those horrible bugs have trashed our town and stolen works of great renown. Namely, the two volume collected works of Shell Sphere. Or Shell Spear. Plucky Squire, please defeat the bugs and get those two books back to us. Snail friends, we're on the case. Leave it to us. There's gotta be a way, there's gotta be a place where I can grind money. What a great carved. There was a... Here was a stone block. Hmm. 
What a great carved block. I see that. Okay, see, I'm, that's what I'm supposed to do. Thanks for taking care of those pesky bugs. Oh, and then I go get the staircase. That's cool. I like the puzzles in this. They're simple, they're fun. Lucky Squire have been rescued by a celebrity. You banished those bugs. You're just as brave as I imagined. I got ahead of myself a little. I'm supposed to move it into position. Make it a staircase. There we go. You saved my shell, thank you. Like a hero from Shell Spear. The plucky squire has saved the day. Should probably bring this with me. Oh wait, hang on. Volume 1 Return. All thanks to you. Now here's a key to retrieve book 2. Oh, lock me in here, why don't you? So, my instinct spies tell me the wretched squire is at large in these pages again. In these very swamps. Most displeasing. No doubt he and his miserable friends are on their way to Artia. Well, I'll soon put an end to their adventures. I'll summon up some squire killers. Some rushing, crushing caterpillars. Unfortunately, I don't have... Okay, you can't replace the word anyway. Thank you. 
Alright, no puzzle here, just combat. You blasted those caterpillars, man. Both volumes are now back safe and sound. We are eternally grateful. We will thank you with a special performance. Oh, for a muse of fire that would ascend the brightest heaven. I did pass it too quickly. A kingdom for a stage, princes to act, and monarchs to behold the swelling scene. Hello. Been waiting to s ages to say my big line. Bravo. You snailed it. Now, brave adventurers, exit stage left, which would be your right. Fare thee well. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of, like, reading Old English <laughs> in school. <laughs> I hated it. Don't tread so loudly. The big boss bug will hear you. Oh, can you see those... Those buggy looking eyes? You mean those ones that are rapidly getting bigger and bigger? Oh. I told you! You shouldn't have trod so loudly. It's always feet that are causing trouble. Well, damage is done. I can be as loud as I want now. With great caution, you must tread. There's a buzzing brute in the nook ahead. Jock could hear the big buck through the entranceway. He readied his bow. It was time to finish this once and for all. <laughs> I love that image. Oh, damn it. Okay, I gotta not do that constantly. When he turns his back, like, be ready to be on the defensive. Oh my god. Fine. Oh. <laughs> I could have done better. The bug was bestie. Yeah. Look lucky, Squire, triumphant. That's a great picture. Legend. Amazing, Jot. You wielded the elven bow magnificently, plucky Squire. It served you well, and now it must return to the forests. A magical bow. Well, I'll never. The exit from these swamps lies ahead. If you ever return, you'll be happily welcomed back by all its residents. Well, apart from the bugs. You destroyed all of them. Really cracking job. Farewell, young adventurers.
Phew, we survived the swamps. You know, Moonbeard said Jot was off script here. But it turns out off script doesn't have to mean certain doom. Nope, we figured it out. We improvised. Improvisation. I dig it, like a drum solo. Or a freeform painting. Sounds quite cool, doesn't it? Adventurers, I have reunited with my love, Gilead. Plotia told me all about how you rescued him. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. <laughs> what lovely fish. I'm so glad they found each other. They look so happy together. Now, come on. Let's skedaddle. I love that word. <laughs> Finally. Our heroes were out of the swamps. The sun on their faces felt most pleasant as they continued on their way. After some time, they arrived. Skedaddle, yeah. It just means let's just get out of here quickly. At Vamoose. Chapter 5. Artia. Know what it means, okay. It's just because I haven't... It's one of those words that you don't hear that often, you know? At least I don't. I heard it when I was playing Risk of Rain and... I was moving super quickly. <laughs> I was skedaddling. Oh yeah, home sweet home. Greetings, gang. Sorry, we lost contact in the Sonnet Swamps. Rune 2 coverage is still rather limited. Anyway, glad you weren't all devoured by leeches. I'm on my way to Artia City. I'll join you shortly. In the meantime, stretch your pins, have a look around. Moonbeat out. There is a Mona Lisa in the background. Violet! You're looking all smudged. I mean, more than usual. What have you been up to now? Hey, Mum. Well, we've been, you know, adventuring. Hey, Mrs. Lightbrush. Yeah, things got pretty gnarly. Humgrump is up to some kind of humgrumpy mischief. I keep calling it humgrump, but it's humgrump. What is this, that one? Well, it's good to see you all, including Jot. I read your last adventure. Quite the page turner. The bit where you leapt over the... Mom! Jot's already heard it. Alright, alright. Violet, listen, your uncle Umber, he's got himself in a pickle. Sounds like he needs some help. Could you go talk to him? Ah, it figures. Okay, Mom, I'm on it. That is the Mona Lisa. The plucky squire, how nice to see you here. You know, many people come here to see my smile. I try not to get too self-conscious about it. Okay. I think this is a good stopping point. I don't want to get through this too quickly. Because it's... 10 chapters, I think like I'm about halfway, so this is really nice um but not a hard game, it, it's fun pretty charming just the concept I like it because it reminds me just of, uh, of Zelda game, games in particular but like, you know, the whole Link Between Worlds thing, I really like that concept but it's kind of taken it to a whole new level it's cool um, we'll continue this tomorrow so, yeah, look forward to that. If you are checking this out as a replay on the VODs channel, hope you enjoyed this look at this game. Um, and, yeah, if you want to support the channel over there, just click the like button. It does help out quite a bit. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and thanks if you do that.